So Miazga was sounding off. He's not the only one. So did Zach Steffen. He sat down with our Alexis Nunez, Herc. Here is that interview. Let's listen in. We'll react afterwards. Well, Zach, thank you so much for sitting down with us. I mean, finally, it's a well overdue catch up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Much better than the little boxes on <laughs> Zoom. And obviously, a lot's happened, you know, since COVID, since you moved here too. Now at Middlesbrough, things mm -hmm. looking well. Yeah. Uh, getting to work with the likes of Michael Carey and United, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, just overall, how's everything been going and just the experience here uh, in Teesside? It's been great. Um, definitely, definitely the right move for myself. Uh, off the field's great, on the field, um, we're in a good spot. Uh, although we've had a couple of tough results uh, the last couple of games, but um, the group of guys have been amazing. Michael and, and his staff have been amazing. Um, and just brought a lot of belief and confidence and um, and just passion into into the into the club. So it's been training's been a lot of fun and and we've been growing and and getting better and um, everybody's balled in and that's exactly what you need. How are you finding the league? Because everyone obviously says we know how difficult this league is. I mean, it, it's a completely different. Um, I suppose atmosphere as well from the Premier League, uh, the fans, especially mm -hmm. in this part mm -hmm. of the country, we know how passionate yeah. uh, they can be as well. Um, how how have, did you find any difficulties adjusting to that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a couple of years since I played consistently uh, week in week out, and um, so I think in the beginning beginning of the season I um, I struggled with um, in some games and in some moments and um, and. Yeah, and that's all talking about adapting and, and getting used to things, getting used to new teammates and, and the league. And the league is tough. It's uh, it's very physical. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, there's no VAR, so you can get away with uh, some things that you normally wouldn't get away with in the Prem. Um, and uh, in the beginning, beginning of the season, we struggled as a team. We struggled um, just to kind of have have the leadership and, and the guidance. So. Um, now that we found that, it, it's been uh, it, it's been easier to kind of um, just to play and yeah. have fun and, and enjoy everything and um, go into work every day and, and um, want to get better and want to get uh, want to push the guys next year. Well, you mentioned of course the the drop that they had um, for the World Cup. And we do have to talk about the World Cup. Okay. I know. I figured. I figured. <laughs> you know That's it's coming. Cool. Take us for what? It's cool. No, I mean, it, it happens. Football, life. we know. Um, what was it like, I suppose, for you overall watching, you know, the US um, at the World Cup from home? Yeah, it was really tough. Yeah. Um, but of course, I want to support the boys. They, like the, the brotherhood that we have, the camaraderie is unbelievable. It's so special. Um, and that's something that you really don't let anything spite or anything get in, mm. in, in the way of. So. Um, yeah, it was, it, it was tough to watch it with family and friends and not be there and, um, and, and all that. But uh, yeah, like you said, I mean, that's football, that's life. Everything happens for a reason. And um, yeah, it allowed me to, uh, to, to find some other good things in my life that I uh, need to focus on and, and um, that have helped me get to, to where I am today. And we know that Greg um, pretty much said, obviously, giving um, Matt his time mm -hmm. and to some probably almost even have you there, the media, we know that we would probably put this as a you versus him type of thing. And it was just potentially giving unnecessary headlines that could distract the camp as a whole Maybe. or the squad as a whole. Um, when you heard that, I suppose, as, as reasoning, was it still kind of hard to take, or could you kind of understand um, his thinking behind that? I, I didn't hear about that until like a couple months mm -hmm. later. Um, or I heard somebody say that, but I thought it was like a rumor or whatever. Um, and he's a, yeah, he was a coach at the time. I mean, he and I have a long history. And um, yeah, I thought, I thought it, it was a little bit different than it was, obviously. And um, yeah, it's something I, I've, I've learned as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a tough pill to swallow, um, for sure. But uh, that's that's the way it is, and that's the way it is. Did you get to talk to him or, or any of the boys as well after, during, throughout? Uh, Matt or Greg? Just anybody. Yeah, Greg first, and then of course any uh, of the boys in the camp. No, I haven't spoken to Greg since yeah since that phone call. That said, they weren't gonna come. So I mean, yeah, I th like I said, I thought I thought things were different and closer and whatever, but it's not that way. But um, 
No, I, I just gave them those guys their their space and let them enjoy the the World Cup and and. Um, I knew that they were going to go out there and kill it and and, um, and uh, yeah impress the world. So um, I talked. Yeah, I saw him for the first time again this past camp in in March um, a year later. So it was it was good to good to be back and good to be with those guys and see them. Uh, your future now, ideal wise, of course, for club and for country. Um. Short term promotion with Borough. That's mm. that's yeah, that's number one. Um, yeah. And you feel at home at Borough? Because yeah. obviously you still have your ties to City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do. I, I, I like it up here. I, I feel, yeah, I'm, I'm in a good, good place, um, which is important. Um, but yeah, promotion with Borough, and then we'll figure out the, the next season and the next steps. All right, first things first. Excellent work from Alexis to get and deliver us that interview. Second, Herc, your reaction to what we heard there from Zach Steffen. This is getting screwed over. Mm. This is what getting screwed over is. The reasoning for a goalkeeper who played the most important games in World Cup qualifying, that's not my opinion, that's not your opinion. That was Matt Turner's opinion. On this show, on this platform, he told us, Greg Berhalter went with Zach Steffen in the important games, the Mexico games, Costa Rica at home, he went with Zach Steffen. It was made clear to him. A player that has history or had history with Greg Berhalter, club level, there's a trust that's built there. For us to believe that he wasn't one of the three best goalkeepers in that pool, mm. and that the only reason he didn't go to the World Cup, we're led to believe is so Matt Turner could be at ease mentally. I don't think Matt Turner is a weak individual mentally. I don't think Matt Turner would have blinked twice at the competition. But to take that away from him, a World Cup, from a player that you knew, that you trusted, that you mentored and coached for so long, that's getting screwed over. That really is. And it's a bitter pill to swallow for any footballer. And it made my stomach turn just kind of watching that interview. Yeah. If you're in Stefan's shoes, you almost wish that he would have just said, hey, I think you're the fourth best goalie. You know, even if that was impossible for you to believe, it's almost like that's what you would rather hear. Rather hear. Uh, let's spin it forward for him. Where do you think he is on the depth chart right now? He's behind Matt Turner, unfortunately. And okay. it's, but is he number two? I, I, oof, there's a good argument for, um, excuse me, for... Um, Oh, the other goalkeeper who is in uh, Horvath. Hor Ethan Horvath, who's leading, the, who's leading the championship mm -hmm. in clean sheets at the moment. You could make an argument, but Zach has history. Zach right. has history with the program. He's got history with these players. We were told he's the goalkeeper because of the style of play, et cetera, et cetera. I have him still penned as a number two. The ironic thing is he leaves City. Mm. It's like he switched roles. He changed roles with Matt Turner. Yep. When people were telling him it was important for him to play, he goes and tries to play because that's what he was told. And look what happens. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.